Hello everyone, my name is Danila Lumelia Naya and I'm going to do my presentation on the importance of water in agriculture. So we're going to start off with talking about where water is used in agriculture and I got this quote from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and it says the use of agricultural water makes it possible to grow fruits and vegetables and raise livestock which is a main part of our diet. So as you can see in this picture where these ducks are swimming, there's water. To For these llamas or goats or sheep, they need water. Humans need water, whether it be for drinking or, or for bathing. And then over here we have the crops where they also need water to grow. And all of these cows over here too need water to survive and over here is a little water tank so in agriculture we have different types of irrigation some types of irrigation are drip irrigation furrow irrigation flood irrigation sprinklers and center pivot irrigation which is the picture listed below um usually for Water con conservation, drip irrigation is better because it waters directly to the source. Unlike flood irrigation where just a whole bunch of water all over the field and it wastes a lot. But it's a lot cheaper, that's why many people do it. Same as for irrigation. Sprinklers is also a second good option aside from drip irrigation. Okay, then we have livestock and feedlots. So some of the pros to having these are we get meat for our burgers or milk for our cereal or manure. The cons though in agriculture is that even though these cows are for our food and our for milk and stuff, their feces can go can run off to like water sources where we water our crops and therefore can lead to foodborne illnesses and can spread disease, bacteria, pathogens, all that. So we have to be really careful when we have when we're talking about feedlots because of all the con contamination that that is there. Speaking of contaminated water, we have to make sure to test the water first of all because what if some of the feces from the feedlot came into our water source and we're using it to, I don't know, water our lettuce, you know? So we have to be careful with like, for example, yeah, runoff can like get into our water, can spread disease, which is common uh, when we get foodborne illnesses that we get um, people all over the world sick, different states can spread all over so and it could even lead to death that's why this picture of the little water with the skull I think it's a perfect description of what contaminated water looks like. Another problem we run is we don't have enough water so we have to make sure we preserve our water like this fish right here it's running out of water so but it needs water to survive so it's working with what it has a good way would be to reform the water that way we don't waste it where it's not needed and we only use it where it's needed so maybe a way could be to inform people give them some tips on how to save water so we can avoid not having enough water okay now switching to our source of to get what where we get water from is the Colorado River. This is a picture here of Yuma where the Colorado River runs through and this is mainly where we get all our water from. So it is important that we make sure that we're taking care of our water and not wasting it because once it runs out there's no going back. So we have to make sure that we don't get a drought or anything because um we are the winter vegetable capital of the world, so we need to make sure we stay the winter vegetable capital of the world. Thank you.
and here are my references to all my to all my uh, quotes where I got my information from.